Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm doing something a little bit different today and I'm doing an unboxing, probably the first and only one that I'll do, kind of an experiment. Um, so I want to introduce you guys to the newest member of the family. Ba, 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 ba. 2021 MacBook Pro, um, 32 gigs of RAM and a terabyte of storage. So um, having started this channel, I had to learn how to do video editing. Um, and what I had to work with was not ideal. So I did a lot of actually searches on YouTube and looked at recommendations from, you know, people that know what they're talking about and kind of went round and round and decided this is the one I'm going to do. So I pulled the trigger and today you're going to see me unbox it. Okay, so yeah, let's dive right into this uh, sort of impromptu unboxing. So I got the MacBook Pro, the 2021 version, um, just because it was a little bit of a discount and there weren't, you know, just a ton of features on the 2023 that I just had to have. So I went with a, a couple years older version. Um, I did do the 32 gigs of RAM. Um, that was kind of what the, the recommended amount was for video editing. And then I did a terabyte of storage. I'll be using cloud storage as well, but with a terabyte internal storage, that will really allow me to use those files and kind of use them locally. So it's just a little bit easier, a little bit more fluid. Okay, so we are going to open up this bad boy. Very nice. Now, I know all of you... Apple geeks out there love the packaging. They do usually package things really beautifully. And I apologize for all the plastic sounds, but that's just what this video is going to be. So I know that um, the packaging is really nice from a design standpoint, but it maybe is not the most eco-friendly thing in the world. So it will all go into the recycling bin, just in case you guys are worried. Okay, so this is what's this is what's in there. I'm gonna move it around so you can kind of see. So we've got this really cool little pull tab. Again, I got the 16 inch. I don't think if I I mentioned that, but it's pretty big. I'm actually gonna go ahead and adjust this camera to be a little bit further away, just so you can. There we go. So we can get really the full picture of what's going on here. Okay. So there we go. You can see just about the whole thing now. So really cool pull tab. Again, I love being able to use that when things are kind of flush like this. It just feels like a really, um, like a luxe experience. MacBook Pro. And of course we've got the little rubber stoppers there. That's always nice to get this sort of vellum paper out of the way. So here's the beauty. Here's the here's this gorgeous thing. And of course, it opens this way so that when you have the lid open, um, of course, I just put it back in there. That was stupid. I already took my little pull tab out. Okay. So of course, the it opens this way so you get the sort of Apple logo face up. Ooh, hello. Okay, so we've got this sort of protective paper on the screen. Again, it's loading, it's doing its whole little thing. Hello, hello, MacBook. Nice to meet you, bienvenidos. That's kind of cool how it cycles through all the languages, right? So another reason I bought this was the multi-directional microphone input. So right now I'm using a Blue Yeti. Uh, that's what I'm talking to you on, and it's been great. So I'm a little uh, I'm a little excited to play around with the recording capabilities of this in and of itself and see if this is sufficient enough not to have an external mic as well. We've also got the little speaker bars here. Another great thing, huge trackpad. I don't have a banana for scale, <laughs> but I do have a hand. My hands aren't particularly big, um, but really good size. I would say this is probably four inches by maybe six. So really decent size trackpad. 
And of course you have the sort of soft click everywhere. So right now I am going to just pick my language. I am an English speaker in the US. Great content, right? Watching me select my country of residence. I'm getting used to the clicky pad as well. Accessibility, not now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and not show you my Wi Fi. So it's just connecting to the Wi Fi for the first time. So we're letting it do that. While it's doing that, let's see what else we have in here. So we'll scooch him out of the way for a second. Okay, so what else comes in the box? Well, we've got our little paperwork folder. So this has all of the fun info, stuff I probably shouldn't throw away. So we'll keep that. We've got our little MagSafe charging cord. So Thunderbolt 4, which if I'm not mistaken, is compatible with uh, USB type C. The Thunderbolt is just a lot faster. I'll let you look inside of it there. It's a little hard to see, but there's little prongs on the inside. And of course the MagSafe side. Really like the quality of this cord. It's almost like it's kind of this woven, not quite a textile, but almost pretty cool. And then a uh, big old honkin' again with a little lifty thing, which I love. Big old honkin' uh, wall charger. So one thing I really love about Mac products as well is that you have this really huge wall charger with the prongs that come down. But if you're traveling, See which way this goes. Make sure I don't break this, guys. Pretty sure this little fella comes out. Yeah, there we go. So it's got this little cool slider and then the prongs in there. So you do have this little extra guy if you wanted to plug him into, I don't know, whatever. Okay, so that's it. That's everything that's in the box. The rest of this is really just air. Um, of course, you do want that protective layer around a very expensive piece of equipment, um, but you know, maybe a little bit more packaging than they really needed. Scoot these things off to the side and we'll continue with our setup. So right now we've got migration assistance. Don't need to do that right now. Apple ID, uh, gonna not show you that. And we're back. Okay, had to do some setup. Now we've got some screen time stuff, some Siri stuff. I'm gonna turn off Siri for now. I don't need you listening to me, Apple. Touch ID, that's pretty cool. So you do have on this version you do have Touch ID with a little um, fingerprint dealie. I do like that just because that's kind of basic on pretty much all mobile devices at this point, or most mobile devices. So that's pretty cool. Choose my look. Let's go dark mode, guys dark like my soul. Okay, we're in, as they say in cheesy movies where they hack things. So really big screen. Again, I went with the 16 inch. You know, I have small hands, so small hands for scale. Um, I did this because I'm going to use this without a monitor most of the time. I love, you know, curling up on the couch with terrible posture for hours and hours. Uh, I know that's not the best thing to do, but that's kind of what I do. So anyway, I also wanted to talk about how 
great the keyboard feels. So these are, you know, raised keys, but they're just barely raised. They're like a millimeter. Um, really do like the typing experience. See if you guys can catch that on the mic. So it's got a clickiness to it that I actually really like. Um, I like it more than the quiet keyboards because I like to, I don't know, feel like I'm actually typing. So that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, so um, this little video will be edited on this beautiful machine. So we're going to see how it goes. A uh, little bit of a learning curve for me because I haven't worked on a MacBook in probably like six or seven years. So I'm going to have to sort of get that muscle memory back of when to use command versus option versus whatever. So that'll be fun. But yeah, thanks for joining me for my unboxing today. And I'm going to be recording more content and posting it as quickly as I can. Thanks, guys. Bye.